Yeah, I'm gonna try it now. It's it's going on, I think. Okay, I just tried it again. Mm hmm. Oh, you see me? Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, thanks, bye. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I don't know what was going on. I kept trying to use my iPad um, and then it wasn't going live. It was I was sitting here, but then it wasn't registering. So I just had to get my laptop back up. So am I still delayed? My sister just wrote that it was delayed. I don't know why I have so many problems with this. Oh, my mom is there. So if it's still delayed, just let me know if it's delayed. I'll close out of this live and then I'll go back and restart another one. Um, so just comment and let me know if I'm still delayed. Okay, says I'm good. Okay, so hi, welcome. Sorry for the late, um, hey, Laura. Okay, so sorry for the late response. Uh, if you're just coming in, I was trying to get my iPad to do this um, just so I could get the music going, um, but it wasn't working, so I thought it was, and I was sitting here, I'm like, where is everybody? Um, okay, so I'm gonna play my music. I just want you guys to just let me know if it's loud, if you can hear it, or if you'd rather me just turn it off. Um, Hey, Andrea. So just let me know. I'm going to put that right here. Sorry. So I'm trying to play my music. Um, let me know if it's good or not. I did just have to threaten in Lincoln that I was going to call the police. Bit. There's an app called the Call of Police if your kid is young enough to believe that. And then when we see a policeman, like, you know, he's, he's like, my mom called you. <laughs> anyway, um, how's the music? Is it good or should I turn it up, turn it down? Let me know. All right. So what we have today, we have a big core block. So we're gonna have 10 minutes of lying down for and it's gonna work like a Tabata. And then we're gonna do a plank series and then we'll do two rounds of total body work and it should take about 30 minutes. And I say that every week in the line, but um, But yeah, so let's uh, let's get started. So let's start by lying down on your mat. Let me get my timer going. Okay, so first let's start, um, I want you to start to warm up the pool a little bit, so long down on the back. And start by drawing your belly button in. So pull your belly button right into your spine, push your lower back down on the mat, okay? And I want you to just sit up like you're going to do a sit up. So whether that means you can use your elbows or your hands to sit up, keep your legs up up, and then come back down. Okay, do it again. Come on up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's start to just get right into your bottle. We're going to have 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So only rest when I tell you to rest. And you can manage to go through this four times. So a grill burner and a floor. You only have three moves. So I'm going to demo them. Okay, so we have a single leg V up. So you start, arms extended overhead, tummy tight, legs extend up, and you're switching legs. Okay, if you need a modification, you're going to limit your position by bumping your knee into your chest. Okay, you'll do that for 30 seconds. Then you're going to come into a slow bicycle, so no rushing here. Okay, so we're going to slow. Bring your hips to temple, crunch your elbows opposite knee, hold the first foot second, back to center, and then switch. So you are literally holding it for a second longer than you want to. The last one is a leg lift. So let's come up, up high, back down. 
okay? Do you want your hips up off the ground? All right, shall we? Let's get going. Let me start my timer. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. Okay, here we go. So starting with that single leg B up, we have 30 seconds in three, in two, one. Here we go. So reach over head, start to slide your ribs into your hips. And I want full reach, full shoulder to the top of the ground. Now if you're struggling with any kind of neck pain, okay, what I want you to do is shove your tongue to the roof of the mouth. Push it to the top, and that's going to help eliminate some mess in your neck. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. 30 seconds of rest, or 10 seconds of rest. Sorry, I can't get that. <laughs> okay, so let's go into those slow bicycles in three, in two, and one. Here we go. So approach up. Now you can keep your legs up in terms of this leg, or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can crunch and lift. And you can alternate, right? So if that one is too fast, you can be on hold, reset. Twist it across, big squeeze here. Nice. Keep it going. Just hold it for a split second. In three, in two, one. Take a second rest. You have ten seconds rest. And we're going into that leg lift here. And then your first series is done. We do this one more time. So just kind of warm up our bodies here. Three, two, one. Leg lift. Double through leg lift. Push your upper back into the ground with the mat. And reach your toes up tall here. So reach. Try to hold it up for just a second here. Come on. Top one for two seconds. Push your hands down. Push them flat on the mat. Last ten. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Is that one round? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. Here we go. Single leg the other. I'm not fragile because I'm thinking about this on the bed. I'm like, you gotta go. Alright, tuck that chin in. You're looking straight ahead and use that punch up. So if you limit your range of motion, this is certainly acceptable. Try to clap your hands right underneath here. You've got 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Going into those bicycles. Remember, you want them to be a little bit slower, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Crunch, hold. Hold. Shoulder blades are coming right off that mat. Your legs are coming out to 45 degrees. If you need an option, watch. Just tap your toe down or keep them on the ground and crunch that way. Okay? Remember, pause and then to go back to center. Halfway. More than halfway. So once you have those legs, slide together, slide them down to your hips. Two, one, press. I'm going to feel this ab burner tomorrow. I did it yesterday and I'm really sore today. Alright guys, leg lifts in three, two, one. Lift and lower. Now try not to like swing your body, right? Try to make it controlled and smooth. Because we don't want, what we don't want is the momentum on the upper body popping up, right? So we don't want this. It's not a roll. We want to lift and lower. Now you're not going to lift that much. If you're not using your momentum, you're not lifting that much off the ground. Three, two, one. Roll up. Two more rounds. How are you doing? Are they good? Are you doing okay? Everything's good? Alright. Here we go. Single leg D ups again. Three, two, one. 
So I have this link to the only white and a medium center combat or whatever you have is this one. Let's see how long we're at. Half life. So don't forget, keeping your tummy tight and engage the whole time here. We've got three, two, one. Okay. Here we go, back to the bicycles. Slow and controlled, don't rush these. Here we go. So point your toe out. And just look right outside of your knee here. Halfway. Reach and hold. Get that opposite shoulder blade up off the mat. Extend. One leg in, one dumbbell in, back in the head. 
Okay. That's your option in the middle. You don't need this. You can do that with option. Okay. So come on over into your plank position. You can be on the forearms. Um, I'm sorry. You are on your forearms and you can be on your knees or your toes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I'll come this way. So we're going to work a spider plank. So, if you're on your knees, hop up to your toes now. Your elbows are right under your shoulders. Your glutes are tight. Now you're going to start and reach your left arm out and come to your palms. Hold. Back down to your forearms. Walk. Walk. Drop down. Drop down. Perfect. One more. Now hold. Hold here. Hold here. Keep breathing and pushing your forearms into the mat. Remember, you can be here. The most important thing is you want to make spot back. Right? Keep holding. Now watch your knee move. It's called a leg drop. So you're literally just tapping your knees on the mat. Lightly. A little snap. And see you Perfect. Squeezing your core, keep it tight. You barely want to touch that mat with a light touch. Okay, back up to down. Walk, walk, back down. So when you come to your hands, what you don't want is to push your body. Keeping your body strong and straight, you guys are keeping your little arms open. Reaching up and down. So we can do four more here. Four. Three. Two. Last one here. Hold it, hold it. Drop it in the evening. Like this one. Like there's a piece of glass that you don't want to break, but you're lightly touching it. Okay, come on, come on, three, two, one, come into child starters, and stretch. Good job. Very nice. So, this next round, we're going to come into a hollow body, I did not know how to show you this part. This is a Russian twist. Hold your dumbbell over your chest. Now, legs can be up or down. Just twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. So if you're feeling low back pain, you need to be on the ground and use your core to twist side to side. Now we're going to lie down and extend that plate to the knee. Three, two, one, go. Punch, extend. So alternate the legs. And use that dumbbell for a weighted sit up. We have two more. Each side. So two. Each. One more each side. Back to the Russian twist. Legs up. Twist. Twist. Three. Two. One. Back to plank. Hold your forearms in. Come into the front. Into the mat. Back. Hold it. Now rotate to the front. Rotate. Hold that palm facing up. Reach that palm up to the side. Hold it here. Your option is to be down on that knee. Come on, keep holding. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Switch other side. Come into a side hover. So, elbow on your shoulder, scissor your feet, lift your hips up. Reach up and hold it, hold it here. If you want to challenge, go ahead and start giving yourself a little bit of a step, a little pulse. Perfect, come on, hold. Give me five seconds. You've got five, four. 
Okay, that's weird. It's showing that um, there you can't play my video, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Um, okay, so then we're gonna finish this circuit with mountain climbers. Yeah, I don't know why. It, the, my screen is black right now. I can see the comments, but I can't see myself. So hopefully, I'm gonna be in the frame the whole time. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start it up. So we're gonna finish this circuit with mountain climbers. 45 seconds on. 15 seconds of rest. Um, come into your kneeling arm of press. In three, two, one. I'm just gonna need you guys to comment and tell me if I'm having the screen or not because that part is black. Um, and that's what's telling me that they can't play my video. And so they're having trouble. So in this position, you really have to keep your core super tight. Rotate up overhead. And I was saying she can't see anything, but I can see it. Okay, switch sides. Good job. Press, rotate. So we're pressing overhead. Okay. We've got five seconds. Hold it. Three, two, one. Rest. 
Okay, so now we're coming into a tricep kick back. So you can just keep in that kneeling position. I'm just going to bring my leg forward so I can show you. Here we go. Kick back, hold the elbow up. So squeeze really tight the back of the arm here. Nice tight squeeze. That dumbbell stops you right at your hip bone. So you don't want to swing it forward. You want to keep it here to hold the tricep engagement. We've got three seconds before we switch. All right. Just make sure you can see me, okay? Just give me a comment to let me know. Every time I do these videos, there's technical difficulty. <laughs> I can see you, you're good, okay. All right, hold it here, okay? So you only have 10 more seconds here on this opposite arm. Three, two, one. Let's come up to our feet for reverse fly. Okay, so when you hit your reverse fly, tip from the hip. Dumbbells start right at your knee pads. You're gonna fly out for 45 seconds. I'm trying to lift my heavier weights and you're going to drop it. Three, two, one, pull up, reset. So tummy should be super tight here. That's gonna protect your back. Your chest is up. It's not all the way down. It's just a slight tip in the hip. Big one. So if you're using your heavier set of dumbbells, this should start to feel a little tight. Come on, 15 seconds here. Nice squeeze at the top. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Come down on the ground. We've got mountain climbers. Each circuit finishes with one set of cardio. Okay? So today is mostly about strength, not necessarily about cardio. Here we go. 45 seconds. So, if coming down on the ground like this is not your jam, you march, okay? You don't feel like coming up and down off the mat, you just stay standing. And these can be slow. I prefer them to be a little bit quicker, but you gotta do what works for you. Shift your butt, my shoes untied. Shift your body weight forward. Oh, come on. Can you hold this for 15 seconds? Hold the same speed you have. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. One more time. Starting from the top. Single arm, arm up, press. Palm faces you. We go in three, two, one. Press overhead, slow and controlled on the way down. So we're holding our dumbbell in front of our face, elbow in line with the shoulder. Press it right overhead, squeeze your tummy. Five seconds, we switch. Three, two, one, switch. Elbow up, press up overhead. Computer thinks there's no activity, it's about to turn it up. Hopefully, you can still see me and wake it up. Wake it up in a second. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Three, two, one. Stay where you are. You're going into a tricep kickback. Okay? Remember, I'll tell you when to switch arms. Lean forward on that front leg. Lift your elbow up close to your ribs. Go. Squeeze the back of your arm. So don't just do this, right? You have to squeeze. So that means you may need to pause for just a second to put your mind into the tricep. And a nice big squeeze. Five more seconds before you switch. Three, two, one. Switch sides. So really focus on the extension. So what I want you to try to do is to keep that dumbbell from coming close to your body in the front. Try to hold it back, maybe like right at your hip bone. Last five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. We're going into that reverse slide. 
Okay, if you want to stay on the ground, you can be here. Yeah, I'm going to try to sit down here. Save my energy. Here we go. It's a little bit harder with the heavier weights. For me, it is anyway. Okay, so if you're staying kneeling, you're leaning your chest with like the top of your belly right onto the thigh. Bending those elbows soft. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades super tight. So like it's almost as if there's a pencil right in between your shoulder blades that you do not want it to fall down. And if you come to my classes all the time, you know what? Two things. I love working shoulders, and I love school supplies. <laughs> you guys all know that about me. <laughs> well, you should. I bet you my sister will wear them here. I didn't know that. <laughs> Three seconds. Two. One. Rest. Okay. All right, so we're coming into the mountain climbers, guys. Come on down into that, okay? In three, two, whoa, one, mountain climbers. Let's go. Finish the circuit. So when you do your mountain climbers, body's not back like this. Weight is shifted forward. Wrist, right under your elbow. So if you're marching, you're just at a slower pace. But if you're standing, you're coming here. Find something that works for your ability and then keep it going for 15 seconds. Let's go. Come on, push a little bit harder here. Push a little bit more. Three, two, one. Circuit one done. Good job. Okay. So we're going into some standing positions now. Um, starting with your lighter set of dumbbells. And then you can make the heavier ones after this. We're working a curtsy lunge. So to kind of tend to hit the inner thighs a little. Curtsy lunge is this. Step behind you. Lunge. Come back together. Fly. So other side. Lunge. Together, fly. All right. Um. Now we're coming into a dumbbell presser. So squat press, basically. Okay. Squat press. That's your second move. I did this one last week. I think that everybody liked it. So we have a plank. We have a push up. Toe tap. Push up. Toe tap. Okay, and then we are coming into a sprawl for fast feet. So this is kind of like your burpee, Lori. Except you go five, four, three, two, one. Sprawl. So you stay here. If you need an option, five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands and feet and stay here or pop up. Okay? All right, get your dumbbells. We're coming into that curtsy lunge with a fly. 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Curtsy lunge, center, nice fly. Every circuit, I double work the shoulders because why? I love working shoulders. <laughs> so when you hit your curtsy lunge, just get a nice long stride back. Hit your lunge, put all your weight in that front leg. Back to center. Perfect. Okay. So when you come back to center, that's where you should feel your inner thighs start to engage. From the back to the center. Five seconds. Remember, it's 45 seconds, so a longer than we normally do. We normally do 30. Three, two, finish the one you're on, and then rest. Good. All right, going into those dumbbell thrusters, so the squat press, basically. All right, you've got 15 seconds. If you do have a heavier set of dumbbells, go ahead and grab them now. My screen is still black. I keep trying to test it. So yeah. 
All right, here we go. Heavier set of dumbbells if you have them, otherwise just keep whatever you have. In five, four, three, two, one. Squat to pass. So what I've learned during this quarantine is that you gotta do a workout by any means necessary. So most of us are used to, you know, doing a spin class and then coming into a strength class or whatever it is. You gotta break it up now. So that's been the hardest thing for me to realize. Like I can't do everything in one sitting. 15 seconds. So hopefully this not time like that if you have little kids. Because we're not cool. If not, let me know. I can see if I can do a different time. Three seconds. Two. One. I picked the hardest one to do that. Full <laughs> story to it. Uh, can I push up with a tail reach? I'm going to give you an option for this when we come down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push up, tail reach, toe tap. Option watch. Table top position. Push up, walk your hands, tap your knee. Okay? That is a low impact option. Everybody else, let's go. Let your chest come to the elbow crease. So make sure it's a nice long push up, back is straight. You've got 10 seconds. Even it out, one more each side. Rest. All right. We have our fast feet with our scroll. Okay. Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, so you're going to give me five fast feet, okay? And then I'm on a scroll. Here we go. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Tap in, hold. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I wasn't just saying. <laughs> More that squat for a second, then stand up. So, like you're in a fight and you're holding it, like where are they gonna go? Nowhere. Run. Now she's in time. Keep going. You've got 20 seconds. If you need an option, watch. One, two, three, four, five. Squat. Plank. Back together. Here we go. Come on. Five seconds. One more. Rest. Good job. Okay. We'll do that one more time. Everybody good? Give me a comment or a thumbs up. Are you hear me? You're still seeing me. My sister writes, sprawl burpees, same thing. I know, I have to call it something else. <laughs> okay, back to those curtsy lunges. They do those sprawls in combat, and that's, I think, what they want. They want you to think, oh, it's not a burpee. It is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Curtsy lunge, center, reverse slide. Curtsy lunge. So when you hit your curtsy lunge, it's super important. Again, long step, drop, bring it to center. So if you feel yourself coming too close, your knees are too close together, you're gonna get hurt. Longer step back, then come to center. Come on. You've got 10 seconds, hold on to this. Keep it going, doesn't have to be quick, right? This can be slow and controlled, as long as we're working properly. Three, two, one. Keep going. Or rest, I mean, sorry. All right. So let's go into oops, our dumbbell thrusters. Heavier weights if you have them. 
give you a little longer rest. Okay, here we go. Dumbbell thrusters. So basically a squat press. Grab your heavier weights in three, two, one. So no matter what, anytime we press something overhead, strong core engagement. So really squeeze. Press. All the way up. So when you stand, don't lock those knees up. Keep them soft. Squeeze your butt. Thrust those dumbbells up. Hold on to this. It's about 15 seconds. Ooh, the last 15 stink. I know. Breathe. Hold it for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. Rest. Plank push up, toe reach. Modified sprawl. You know what round two? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. So if you forget, here's your option. Tabletop position, tap your knee. Tabletop, tap. Or you can bring your knees out a little bit further back. And then do it. So that's a little bit more challenging if you're doing the modified version. Or knees, plank, reach. Okay? 15 seconds. Come on, squeeze that core. Can it happen? You've got three, two, one. Okay. Modify the ball with your fast feet. You go on seven seconds. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, hold. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Oh, I forgot to hold. <laughs> hold. So after those dumbbell thrusters, you like to be a little tight. Good thing. Okay, remember your option. One, two, three, four, five. Walk, walk, center, reset. Okay? Fifteen seconds. Hold on to this for those last fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. We only have one more round. So I'm going to explain to you the last round. And there are burpees in there. Real burpees. But we use a dumbbell this time. So, um, oh yeah, okay. This is really good. Heavier set if you have one. Okay? Come to your mat. Hold your dumbbells. You can obviously do this without dumbbells. Okay? Right? We're going to grow each side. Jump to center, stand up, bicep curl. Do you want me to show you again? So, burpee, row, jump to center, stand, curl. All right, again, same dumbbells. You have a deadlift into an upright row. Shoulders again. Deadlift, upright row. That goes back. Feel the stretch in the uh, hamstrings, right into an upright row, okay? Coming back into a plank. Switching maybe to your lighter set of dumbbells. And then try to kick back. So lift, extend, in, down. If you need an option, obviously work on into the knees. Last but not least, jump lunges. I don't even know why I put these in there. I got a cortisone shot yesterday, actually two for my foot again. So, we'll see how this goes. Jump lunges. Starting in a lunge, jump to the other side. Okay, your option to do this. My best friend from home does these videos, and every time I do jump lunges, she texts me like, why did you do that to me? It's only 45 seconds, though. This is your last round, okay? So, 
Grab your dumbbells. Let's get into that dumbbell burpee with the running game row. We go in five seconds. Have your set if you have them. Here we go. Three, two, one. Jump up. Curl up. Reset. So if you're going to do that dumbbell, it looks like this. Just as fine, right? Doesn't matter. Stand up, squeeze, crawl. Everybody else? Let's get it done. Halfway. Stand up. Go. These last 15 seconds are here. Every time I tell you 15 seconds left, you should be wanting to be over. That's why I changed it from 30 seconds to 30. Five. Stop. Rest. Uh, don't lift into the upright right row, so keep those same with your tumbles. All right. Three, two, one. Then lift. Upright row. So, in a different scenario. We are done. Things can be much heavier than this, but we got to take what we got, right? So push your butt back all the way as if you're wanting it to connect to the wall behind you. And you should feel a pinch in your hamstrings that's right behind your quads. As you stand tall, relax your shoulders away from your ears and pull those dumbbells up below your chest. 15 seconds. When I say about the 15 seconds, you should have wanted to be over now. It's not. That's fine. Come on. Three. Two, one. Come down on the ground. Plank tricep kick back. You're alternating the arms, okay? So release yourself there. Here we go. Lighter dumbbells for you on this side. Three, two, one. Pro back raise. These in my hand right now are tens, and the other ones are fifteen. That's all I have. <laughs> so if you feel your hips twisting, all you're going to do is come down with your hips to the top and get your tricep kick back that way. What you guys got? You got 15 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, Two, and rest. Jump lunges. Let's go. Two left feet. I'm going to do this for the next one. Okay. We're going three. Two. One. So you're going to do your jump lunges. Use your arms. You don't have to be quick. Start to keep it out. It's loading up. Push off that front leg to get up off that mat to the ground. Your option, step, reset, step, reset. If you're taking the stepping option though, stay low. Pull the work down on those legs. Kind of just stand out for each one. Are you guys still moving? You have 15 seconds. Come on. I don't know. I feel like these are worse than your boots, in my opinion. Five, four, three, Tell me, which is worse? Jump lunges or burpees? I'm going to say the jump lunges. Can you go back down and lay down for a little bit more quiet time until I'm done? You know, up in your bedroom. Um, 
Okay, this is your last round. So everyone stay here, okay? Making lobsters, please. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Dumbbell, burpee, row. We're going five. Four, three, two, one. Take it to the row. Each side. And back up. Top of the kneecap, but with lighter weights and to feel a little bit more engagement, you want to come down a little bit lower. 15 seconds. Breathe. Almost there. Come on, you only got two exercises after this, so stay in your work. One more beer and you're done here. Perfect. Okay. Same tricep kick back. Lighter weights. In three, two, one. So your chest is square to the mat. Your body is also squared up. Again, if you need that option, you come to your knees. And you keep the kick back in that position. Okay? The most important thing is that if you're feeling any low back pain, you want to come down to your knees immediately. Okay? 30 seconds left. Last 10. Keeping it up. Last rep here. Yes. We've got one more. Computer up, right? Still not good. My mom looks good. Great class. It's not over. You still have jump lunges, so don't you get Jump lunges, 45 seconds. In three, two, one. So, you're driving off of this front foot, so pushing through the heel will help you get that jump lunge. Option again. You step back, go up. Can you hold it for 20 seconds? Come on. Finish here. Last couple reps. Last couple reps. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Really good job. Hopefully we're out of breath. I am. <laughs> anyway, that was your core and total body work today. I hope you guys have a really good weekend. Um, those of you that have uh, indoor bikes, cycling bikes, um, send me a message or text me. I was thinking of doing a like a live 30 minute interval. Uh, workout. So if you want that, let me know what time, what day. It doesn't have to be this time. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks, Laura. Thanks for coming, my fellow Jersey girl. 
Have a good weekend, you guys. Sorry you got to see me uh, tell Lincoln to go back to bed. Happens usually all the time, but first time it happened during this video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good weekend.